Hey, Pete here from RC Car Action. Wanted to show you this kit before I started building it. This is the Kyosho Turbo Scorpion. This is a re-release of the original 1985 buggy, which itself was a follow-up to the original Just Plain Scorpion that came out in 1982. And Kyosho has re-released that one as well. We reviewed that back in our October 2014 issue. But this is the hotted up version. Looks super cool in red, white, and blue uh, livery there. And uh, let's open the box and see what you get before I start turning the wrenches. Now, as you can see, unlike a regular kit where you've just got a bunch of poly bags, this has got a really nice blister packaging set up just like it did back in the 80s that really shows off the parts, gets you excited for that build. And that includes a bunch of aluminum parts, including these beautiful castings or forgings for the suspension parts, red anti-shocks, these nice stamp parts for the shock towers, and you've got a gear differential, which is pre-assembled for you. Like the original Scorpion, the body is actually a injection molded lower tub, and the Lexan upper part completes the look. You've got a driver figure molded in there. On the original Scorpion, matching up a, uh, the paint for the clear Lexan to the yellow that the tub was molded in was a little tough, but with the uh, white plastic, this will be a lot easier to get it looking just right. Tires arrive mounted, but we'll need to glue those on there. And these are 2.2 inch rims, which means you can put any modern rubber on there that you like. Uh, stock tires look good and they are a soft compound according to uh, Kyosho.com. So um, no problem with these stock tires, I'm gonna leave those on there. But if you do have a vintage racing class you wanna run in and you wanna run a different tire, the 2.2 inch rims will take whatever you got. And as you can see, the transmission arrives assembled and that is another cast piece. And Kyosho actually uh, did all new tooling for these re-release models on the Scorpion platform. So it looks just like the vintage stuff, but it, it, it is actually made from uh, new tooling and they've made a bunch of improvements. You can put full on brushless power in these cars without any trouble. Uh, they are not simply uh, old parts or new parts built to the old specs with the old tooling. This is, these are actually new vehicles that look like the Scorpions from the 1980s. Let's see what's in here. I should really get a fresh blade because that one is dull. Looks like we've got some tire foams here. I'll probably put these in some water to make them spring back to life and then dry them back out. But they will relax on their own, but the water trick will pop them back into shape more quickly. So looks like we've got some cage parts, uh, red parts for the shocks, no doubt. There's the battery door on the front bumper. There's your steering arms. Other stuff, we'll find out what the instructions say. Here's your aluminum chassis rails. And those are actually solid, those are not hollow. And looks like we've got some more shock parts in there. And that would be the roof panel. Structure manual and catalog. Actually, that's just the catalog. So the manual should be in here with the decals, which it is. And this will just be a one color job. Decals should bring the white paint job to life, just like the box art. And it looks like all this stuff is die cut, so this should be uh, pretty easy to get going once we get the paint on the body. So that's what you get inside the Kyosho Turbo Scorpion. Looking forward to getting this one together. You'll see this in the October issue of RC Car Action Magazine. You can also check out RC Car Action Premium. We'll get some photos up of the build, and uh, that will be your sneak peek before it actually lands in the magazine. Go to rccaraction.com, check out the premium teaser stories for information about signing up for RC Car Action Premium. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep your eyes peeled. We'll be back with more on the Kyosho Turbo Scorpion.